In this problem, we have a water tank at Camp Newton holding 1,200 gallons of water at time t equals zero. During the inter interval from zero to 18 hours, water is pumped in to the tank at the rate of w of t, so many gallons per hour. And during the same time interval, water is removed from the tank at the rate of r of t, so many gallons per hour. The first question is, is the amount of water in the tank increasing at time t equals 15? Well, if we want to know if the w amount of water in the tank is increasing, we need to look to the derivative of the amount of water. But we don't have a function as yet for the amount of water. So what I would do in this particular, at this particular point is to come up with my function for the amount of water in the tank. And it's similar to what you may have done in other problems like this. And I'll call that A of T. We know that that begins with the initial value 1,200 gallons of water in the tank at time t equals zero. Second of all, since we have two rates here, the rate at which water is pumped in and the rate at which water is removed, to find the net change in the amount of water, we're going to take the integral of the amount pumped in minus the amount taken out. And my limits of integration are going to go from zero to t. And since I'm using t as an independent variable, as a limit of integration, I'm going to use x as my variable of integration. So the amount of water in the tank is comprised of the initial amount of water in the tank plus the integral of the amount of water added, or the integral of the rate at which water is added, minus the integral of the rate at which water is removed from the tank from 0 to t seconds. Now if I want the derivative of that from the second part of the fundamental theorem of calculus, that should just be a prime of t is equal to w of t minus r of t. And in this case, we're looking to see whether the amount of water in the tank is increasing at t equals 15. To do that, we're going to have to use a prime of 15. And I'll start by saying a of t is increasing when a prime of t is greater than 0. And a prime of 15 is. And so I go to my calculator. I've set up w of t and y1, r of t and y2. And just recall that when I have sine squared, cosine squared, what I will do is put the whole thing in parentheses and then square on the outside of that. So I've done that in each of those cases there. And I've also set up another uh, function, which is y1 minus y2, which would become w of t minus r of t, which in this case is my a prime of t. So since a prime of t is y3, and I'm looking for a prime of 15, all I need to do is evaluate y3 at 15. So I'm going to go out to the main screen, vars, y vars, function, y3 parentheses, 15, close parentheses, and I get negative 121.09. And since that value is negative, uh, since the derivative of a of t is negative, so the water is decreasing in the tank and it's not increasing. So I make note of that there. Um, the next thing that I want to do here is to the nearest whole number find how many gallons of water are in the tank at time t equals 18. And that's just asking for a of 18. Now a of 18 is 1200 plus the integral from 0 to t of this uh, a prime of t that I have here. So since I'm already at the home screen, I'm going to type in 1200 plus uh, math, option 9, which is fn int vars y vars function y3 variable of integration is x from 0 to 18. And I get 1309.788 to the nearest whole number would be 1310 gallons. All right, so that does it for part B there. And I will continue with part C in the next video.